birthday on the 17th and I turned 24 so I'm starting to get a little bit old. I have some footage from my birthday if you guys would like to see. I might make a vlog of it. Um, and I thought I might show you guys what I got for my birthday. I put up a vote on Facebook and Twitter and a lot of you guys requested that I do this video over my autumn favorites video. I'll show you guys my presents after I show you guys something really, really, really exciting that happens to just clash with my birthday. I have recently had the amazing opportunity to be featured alongside two other top Australian beauty gurus in a magazine called Clio. Yay! It's a double page feature. So there's beautiful Chloe Morello and that's Lauren Curtis and that's me at the top right there holding all of my favorite beauty products. Right, you guys, all of my birthday presents uh, with an exception of just a few that I've left at school and I'll explain why soon. I should start with Upa. It's the first thing I own from this brand. You guys can probably guess what it is by checking out this colour which is a trademark colour for Tiffany & Co. And I'm actually wearing it right now. So a little bit closer. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous thin um, silver chain with two intertwined rings. Sterling silver and one of them is white. Uh, rose gold. Um, apparently William took a long time trying to decide what to get for me. I love it. Thank you, Opa. I'll show you guys the card. Wife, you've got it all. Brilliant smile, brilliant body, brilliant personality. And then when you look inside... Now my beautiful, wonderful mother-in-law. She got me this beautiful Chanel number 14 Mystic Eyes eyeshadow quad. Okay, so here it is. And I'm just loving these colors so far. I haven't even swatched them yet, so I'll swatch them for you guys if you're interested. Those are the swatches. I think the lighting is washing the colors out a little, but I'm really loving the bronzy taupe color and this shimmery pink. Um, let me find out the colors. It doesn't have the names of the colors, but it's number 14 Mystic Eyes. So let me know in the comment section below if, if you guys want me to do a tutorial using this palette. Okay, so next, my wonderful, wonderful church family. Um, I call them family because we call each other auntie and uncle and all sorts of different things, which you guys would probably know if you have seen some of my church like vlog and camp videos, etc. They got me um, a lot of different things. Firstly, there's some flowers on that table back behind me and a pink wrap thing, which is like a candle holder. And then my prison worship team pulled their money together and they got me this Lancome gift pack. Dun, dun, dun. Try to guess what it is while I'm trying to open it. It's a mascara that I love. Lancome Hypnose Waterproof Mascara, yay! So I really, really needed a new one of these and I think William recommended um, to my church people that I needed it. And one of them went around a couple of different stores around Sydney trying to search for it and apparently three counters didn't have this waterproof version. So I don't know what's happening but I remember last year one of the Lancome counters informed me that they are trying to phase this formula out. I really, really hope that they won't because this is my absolute favourite. No matter how many different mascaras I've tried and I've tried tons and tons of mascaras. I always come back to this, even though there are cons to this as well, like that it dries up, but I realized I'm doing like a review video right now, so I'll just skip it. So yeah, they gave me a Hypnose Waterproof, and inside, a lot of other products as well. I'll quickly show you guys a Hypnose Star sample, mascara sample, and this humongous container of gentle softening cleansing fluid for face and eyes. Hydra Intense Hydrating Gel Mask with Natural Cap the gel mask thingy. My hands are really big, so it looks really small, but it's actually quite, quite substantial. <laughs> it's not too small. Um, this lipstick, which is actually a full size, but not with the packaging. It's a gorgeous color, but I'm liking that color a lot, especially for the winter. Comes with a full size juicy tubes in number 98, which is a beautiful strawberry funk color. It's really bright. It's really gorgeous. Hydra Zen Soothing Recharging Night Cream Sample and a Hydra Zen Neo Calm Gel Essence Hydratant Detoxifying Moisturizing Multi Relief Anti Stress Gel Essence. That is a humongous name. Why do they give such long names to these products? And of course, a sample of the Lancome. I think this is Miracle. Lancome Miracle. And I've actually been using this and I like it. So yep, that's all the stuff that came in this tiny little bag. So thank you so much to my wonderful church family who came and surprised me and waited for me for half an hour at um, Outback Steakhouse. 
So that's that. So I have two best friends from high school. Their names are Esther and Rachel. I don't think I've introduced you guys to them before, but they are Korean as well. Esther Lee and Rachel Kim. Uh, some of you guys might know them because the Korean community in Sydney is everyone's connected to each other. So Esther gave me this box and it's really quite meaningful. She wrote Meej. And if you guys don't know, I think I've never really explained it in my video, so I don't blame a lot of you guys who say me J Muse, but it's actually Meej Muse. Meej is actually a nickname that was first coined by Esther, so thanks to Esther, I have my YouTube name. She's the one that used to call me Meej in high school. It's just a short way of saying my Korean name, which is Mee Jong. Mee Jong, and she just says Meej. So yeah, it was really nice of her. She made this little thing for me, and inside was a little box and it's got pearl earrings and a pearl necklace. Thank you, Esther. And Rachel got me a perfume that I have not tried before, and it's the gorgeous Chloe perfume. And if any of you guys use this perfume, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of it. The next birthday present is from my tutor student. It's a gorgeous necklace from Swarovski. I love it. I've been so spoiled for this birthday. I think everyone's trying to console me because they know I feel like I'm getting older. A rainy day is never dull when we share it with a friend. And I love the picture. So on my birthday, it was Friday, and um, my class actually knew that it was my birthday. They were so sweet. They really made my day. I think it's just the purity of children. It just really touches you a lot because you know when they give you something, it's truly because, you know, out of a pure heart that they really want to just give you something. And they're actually giving you something out of sacrifice that means a lot to them. Um, as soon as I got to school, they were all screaming out to me from the other end of the playground, Happy birthday, Mrs. Kim! And they were just so sweet to me, so I think it's just so lovely to have kids around you. A couple of them actually wrote me cards and letters and gave me presents. Some of them are at school, so I can't show you guys, but I'll show you guys the things that I've brought home. Um, there's this really, really talkative little boy in my class. He's the most talkative in my whole class. Virtually impossible to get him to sit quietly for a while and calm down. And so it was just really touching to see him come so shyly and give me this card and this really feminine birthday present. And he got me these um, Bexa earrings. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Another student um, gave me something that his sister made in high school and it was like this woodworks project. And it's like a humongous dice standing on like a footstool and there are dice faces on it and one of the sides has holes in it for pens to go in. You know, his sister gave it to him and then he gave it to me and he gave me these new pens to put in there as well because my pens always get stolen and missing. And he just came to me really quietly, he didn't say anything, he just gave it to me and ran off very shyly. I can't show you guys that either but if you check my Instagram there's a photo of that there. And also one of the girls in my class gave me this today because I was sick the past two days and um, she wasn't able to give it to me on Friday. So let me just quickly show you guys what it is. I feel like I'm blabbing a little bit too much. She gave me this note that says to Mrs. Kim and she gave me all these different accessories. They're actually really nice. So, you know, those qualify to be presents as well. That's all my presents for my 24th birthday. My mum and dad got me a card and gave me some money so that I can buy my own new hairdryer, which I am in desperate need of. I've got reports going on at school recently. Really, really hectic and busy time at school, so. So yeah, that's what's been going on in my life. And I hope you guys have been having a really good week. Remember to stay positive always. One of the things that I find the best in terms of if I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling negative in any way, if I'm feeling stressed, um, just really depressed or don't feel like doing anything, or feel like there's too much going on. I always upload these things on my other social media outlets, but I'm not able to do it on YouTube. So my remedy is really simple. 